all the time Fairfax and the ABC is lampooned by the Australian. It's one of their stock kind of in the ingredients of their agenda. And I've been very puzzled as to why Fairfax and the ABC turn the other cheek, uh, sort of almost ignore that this is going on, because I think it does weaken them um, amongst the political class. Everyone gets a fa I mean, one of my favourite sayings comes from Alexander Solzhenitsyn, who said, slander is a hummable tune, that slanders catch on. Even if you don't sort of originally agree with them, the story gets going. And the slander against Fairfax and the ABC that they're in the hands of mad Soviet-style leftists, you know, the age is the Spencer Street Soviet and all that. Those lines eventually, even for people dubious, have their effect. So why haven't they stood up? And, and you know, and I say one of the things, I, there's an old joke which I like very much, which I, you know, there's a joke about myself really, is that one can't argue, an individual can't argue with anyone who buys ink by the barrel. Um, it's one of the oldest jokes about journalism. Uh, but Fairfax buys ink by the barrel, and the ABC has what, you know, is on wavelengths, um, which are an equivalent. And I do wish they'd take up the battle and not sort of be so passive in regard to the, you know, what the Australian tries to do to them and position them. I mean, maybe, uh, this is a comment, not a question, but I mean, maybe one of the, the reasons for that is that my observation, and I read the Australian uh, every day, that's the first newspaper I read, and I read several, um, is there's, there's no other newspaper like this in the world, by which I mean uh, that actually runs agendas against its competitors as, as openly and, and uh, regularly yes. uh, anywhere in the world. So if you're on the receiving end of that, mind you, it's been going on for quite a few years, you know, how do you react to that? It's not like there's a playbook for this. That's true. <clears throat> the other thing is that normal people don't like fights. They actually like to live a quiet life. They like to take pride in what they do professionally. They know that if they tangle with the Australian, it gets dirty and bloody. And I think most people naturally try and avoid it. Um, it's, you know, what my wife always says, that, that bullies have a natural advantage. They don't necessarily win, but they have an advantage in that they quieter, you know, more decent people slightly want to avoid fights with them. I, I, I'll give an example just in my personal case. I've told a number of people including close friends, obviously, that I'm doing a quarterly essay on The Australian. And it eventually occurred to me, they react as if I've told them that I have a fatal disease. <laughs> um, and they, the, the way they look is to say, do you know what you're in for? You know, like, do you know what radiotherapy does to you or chemotherapy? Um, there's a, I think there's a very general sense that to tangle with The Australian is to take a very big risk. And you have to be slightly mad to do it. Everyone knows that it's a bully, a really quite seriously bullying style. And for that reason, I think what Fairfax and the ABC have tended to say is, we're not going to lower, our, lower ourselves to, to that level. But I think that's to some extent a rationalisation for we don't want to tangle with someone who will remorselessly go at us and will enjoy it in a way that we won't.